Axiom Space is about making living and working in space commonplace. The government has forecasted a demand for flying NASA crew members to low Earth orbit to conduct basic research and further to their goals of deep space exploration. But then we also want to expand what can be done in space. 15 years from now, 20 years from now, we're going to be surrounded by objects that we can't live without that we're manufacturing in space. Today we are in the process of building our first two elements. We have subsystems in development. We have a full lab of life support hardware that we're putting through its bases. We are building a propulsion system. It's a lot of those details in developing a space station. You know, the first two modules are being built by our partner, Talasalania, and we're heading to what is called CDR, which is a critical design review. That really means that 90% of the design is done, and then you're ready to go to manufacturing. So HAB-1 is that first module. It has four crew quarters, it has payload accommodations, and it has all of the systems required to keep crew healthy and alive. So the plan is we'll fly four separate modules to the ISS. When we arrive with the fourth module, it'll have what we need to be independent of the ISS. So a lot of thought went into how do we allow it to grow. When we look at the future, we have thoughts on how we could double the number of crew every five years. There's a lot of excitement here about the AX-1 mission. Everyone understands that it's a very historic mission. We are just so excited to be part of that and having our people enable this historic moment. The AX-1 mission provides us the opportunity to refine our flight techniques and operations concepts in order to meet the higher complexity of operating a space station in orbit. That moment where we're captured in birth to the International Space Station will be a moment that defines how we move forward uh, as a species in low Earth orbit. This will be really the first time a fully commercial element has uh, been part of the complex. Axiom Station is going to allow humanity to be a multi-planet species. Orbital Reef is a full-fledged commercial space station Think of it as a village. Think of it as many different organizations and people in their own parts of Orbital Reef doing their own activities. Where all types of companies can come together and do research and or production and also provide opportunities for tourists to come and just experience what space is like. It's an ecosystem that will allow ideas to grow, to germinate, whole new fields and areas of economic arena, new science that we can't even imagine now. Orbital Reef starts with two strategic partners, Blue Origin and Sierra Space. These two together have the fundamental elements that give us both transportation of cargo and crew and the destination system essentials. In addition, we have a set of expert teammates, which includes Boeing, who will be developing our research module. Uh, we'll be providing crew and cargo transportation with the Starliner. And when the orbital reef is operational, we'll provide all of the operations and maintenance uh, necessary to sustain the orbital reef. Genesis, who are developing the single-person spacecraft for suitless extravehicular activity, ASU is going to bring together this international group of 14 universities to work with Orbital Reef on the ethics and guidelines of research, on how we can bring to bear all of our expertise. And Redwire, who provide in space manufacturing. Leveraging the microgravity environment to push new science, new discoveries, and new commercial applications. We're working very hard to make sure that Orbital Reef is not just for the entities that have had access to space so far. It's intended to be humanity's footprint in Earth orbit, and that means all the nations and companies and peoples of the world. I think that Orbital Reef offers us an opportunity at this point in history to really approach the next frontier as humans and to expand beyond the surface of the planet. Maybe there's a company that wants to manufacture materials in space. Maybe there's a school that wants to send an experiment up. Maybe there's a nation that's ready to send someone into low Earth orbit to inspire their entire nation. 
It's limitless, the implications of microgravity research, development, and manufacturing. Every aspect of our life, of industry, of science, will be impacted by the discoveries that we make on Orbital Reef.